Hello everybody, I am Perfectly Penguin and welcome back to a Scratch tutorial. Now today, we're going to be looking at if Scratch can tell whether a number is even or odd. And spoiler alert, the answer is yes, it can. So how does that work? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. Well, you want to go into variables. Now, I'm going to delete the my variable variable and I'm going to make a new variable and call it number. Now you can keep it for all sprites. That's what I'm going to do. But here's the important part. Take set number to anything and make it like one through four. And now this method isn't just going to be where I have two lists, one says odd and one says even, and the numbers inside tell the computer. No, the computer is going to figure out itself, and we don't have to make any lists, so it's going to be pretty easy and simple. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into events. We're just going to click when green flag is clicked. Now we're going to take out of control an if then and then else block. So this is what we have. Now we need to make something that'll tell the computer how to compute this. So we're gonna go into operators. And now this is a very important number. It is round. Now what does round do? Well, we need to know this real quick. So round rounds a decimal number to a whole number. So if we have the number four, well, it's just gonna stay at four because that is what it is. Because four is really 4.0, but that's irrelevant. But if we have 1.5, which is one and a half, it rounds it up to two. If we have 2.5, it rounds it up to three. Now, why is this important? Well, let's say we have the number two. Well, that is an even number. Now, how we're gonna make the computer know is we're gonna divide the number by two. And if it still stays the same and it's not a decimal number, it knows. And there's a very short equation we need to make. So take out an equal sign and then on one side of the equation, put number. On the other side, we are going to take out round. Then we're also going to take division and we're going to take a multiplication. So now we're, instead of having round two, we're going to have round number. So now whatever number is, which we can have it, it's, it's one and it rounds to one. But instead of having it round to number, we're gonna have it round to number divided by two. And what this does is it checks if it's a decimal or not. And if it is, it rounds it up to a new number. And well, that obviously is not the same number. So now we're gonna have that be multiplied by two. And you're gonna see what this does. So we'll put it in here. Now it's going to say true or false. Now remember, the number is currently one. So that means this is false. Now why is this? Because number divided by two, which is one, is a decimal number. It is half. And when we round a half, it becomes one. So that way, when we multiply it by two, it is no longer one. It is two. Now let's say that the number was two. I just set it to two. Well then, number divided by two is a whole number. It is one. So when it rounds, it stays the exact same. That way, when we multiply it by two again, it stays at the number. So now you'll see this is true. So now you can just put this in here and now you can have it do whatever you want. And at the top, it's if it is even. And down here, not there, down here, it is odd. So we'll test this out just a few times. And you can see what the number is right there. Four, it's even. One, it's odd. One, it's odd. It's odd. It keeps picking one. Now, two, it's even. One is odd. Four is even. Two is even. Four is even. Three is odd. So yeah, basically, that is how it's just this simple equation right here that will tell us if a number is odd or even. I'm Perfectly Penguin. I hope you enjoyed this Scratch tutorial today, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.